in the street again on this fantastic street party called Polista Avenue with none other than Art himself. Hello, Jet Lag Warriors fam. Wow, Jet Lag Warriors fam, I love it. So here we are guys, let me spin this around and show you what's happening here. Now this uh, street party will not be as epic as the one you saw in the video, but still pretty fantastic. People are cheering over here, we got music. What more could you want? There we have it guys. So I think there was a bit of an error with the stream because it said we were set our date for 1969, which is pretty impressive to stream in 1969. But hopefully people will catch on and start watching. I think it's like 11 something, 11 o'clock PM in Malaysia. Yeah. So maybe we can get some Malaysia people. Jet Live Sunday. There is a big Christmas tree. We are changing up our original and usual Friday schedule. Shout out to just me and Wee Fung in the chat. Hello. We have actually uh, changed our live stream time just for you, Wee Fung. <laughs> so thanks for joining. To all our Malaysians, we've got some uh, what is it? Some kind of flash mob happening over here. Santa. Or maybe a uh, fitness class aerobics yeah, here. Christmas aerobics. Very nice. nice. Seems like uh, everything in Brazil is in dancing. Oh, I'm in the bike lane. I'm the best at walking in the bike lane. Pardon me, pardon me. Shout out to Ken Abroad saying Verder shirt. Verder recently won a game 4-1, I uh, hear. Shout out to Pakistan, Saeed, and all of our Pakistani subscribers. I will say this, we just yesterday got our visa for Pakistan uh, accepted. So we were rejected at first, and then we sort of reapplied, and we've just got accepted. So maybe after... That's the McDonald's here, it's called McKee. Brazil, we're going to do Ivana is saying McDonald's here is McKee. Mackie. 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 That's how Mackie. you pronounce M-A-C. M-A-C, Mackie. Maybe what we'll do today for a challenge is you can find some interesting words, you can point them to us, yeah, for sure. and we will see who can pronounce them better. Right. Ivana or I will do a Portuguese challenge today. I'm looking forward to this. This could be exciting. Right. Because uh, Art obviously speaks Portuguese and English. Oh, Backpack Your Life says, I hate Steve. <laughs> uh, if anyone is a moderator, please ban Backpack Your Life and report and flag his comment and go to his channel and thumbs it down. Shout out to Kathleen. I'm joking around, obviously. Ken says, did anyone in Brazil notice the Werder Bremen shirt? Not yet, although it is the first time I wore it because uh, I have officially become a Palmeiras fan. <laughs> in fact, we've got a, a video coming out uh, Tuesday where Art has given me an incredible gift. I can't tell you what it is, but it is a Palmeiras fandom related memorabilia, memorabilia <laughs> gift. Should be pretty special so in the chat if you guys want to choose what we can eat and what we can drink uh your choices of drink will be limited to beer but you can choose the brand of beer and if you want to choose what we want to uh eat because i'm hungry it is noon over here everyone is out and about shout out to paul cannon says jet live fridays on sunday <laughs> yes this is the jet lag friday Sunday edition, episode, was this, nine or ten? Nine. Something like that. But I gotta tell you, uh, it's a little bit cool today, yeah, which it's not as sunny, is... But it's nice, actually. It's like 25 degrees. I like it's it this perfect. Way. It's so perfect right now. I might have a word for you guys. Oh, got a word. Okay. The Portuguese challenge starts now. Oh. How do you pronounce in Portuguese Xerox? Xerox in Portuguese. Okay, yeah. so the word is Xerox. Uh, X-E-R-O-X. Xerox. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's going to be Xerox. It's going to be Xerox. Xerox. Uh, you might be a little Woo! closer. Yeah. Xerox. So the X has an SH sound. She Xerox. Xerox. But then the, for the last one, you do an actual X. So Xerox. 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 Okay, one point for Ivana in the Portuguese <laughs> challenge. All right. Uh, Brazilian Portuguese challenge, to be clear. Told you I'm better. Ivana somehow... Beats me at the pronunciation 
said, challenge. I said it like it's an S. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm almost winless in the challenges. I think I won one. <laughs> Silly challenges. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's one degree today in Serbia. Oh. Shout out to Serbia. We had like fun there. IPA but we yeah, let's get another IPA. Sounds okay, good. Yeah. Here, I'll give you some money. Oh, oh you buy. Okay, I'll pay you after. Yeah. Shout out to Art for buying the first beer. Uh, no, I'm okay. I'll get some juice later. The best. So what do we got here, guys? We got the old building looking like Portuguese style, colonial era. We've got Market Polista over here. That's the uh, Asian Electronic Market. Oh, the Asian Electronic Market. Maybe we'll go there and buy a memory you card. Buy like some cheap, uh, I don't know, tripod or something. You can go to Market <laughs> Polista. Just me is right. He says rainstorm starting in 10 minutes. Nine minutes 59. Nine minutes 58. Uh, hopefully not going to rain today. Although the it sky is rain in the morning, so the sky is a little questionable, and it did rain this morning. Yeah. But as you can see, the Street parties are alive and well here in Sao Paulo. Yeah, it's just starting. So we're early. We are early. Yeah, I guess it starts at noon, yeah. this, this street party, and it's noon now. Yeah. Major flood in central Malaysia yesterday and today. Oh no, Sorry to are hear you guys that. okay? I didn't hear that. Hopefully everybody's all right. I guess it's just rain, no? Rainy season? Yeah. I think so. Hopefully everybody's all right and your house is okay and uh, everybody's doing okay. Shout out to Malaysia. We are noon over here in Sao Paulo, which means I think it's 11 p.m. in Malaysia. So maybe we can catch some of our Malaysian viewers. I think in this live stream, we will see some very creative street performers. Yeah, I think so. Just like last week. Because uh, hopefully we can find the guy who swallows balloons. That guy was hilarious. <laughs> uh, the lady on the piano hanging off. We'll definitely hear some music. Should be pretty exciting. We might wander for an hour or two. We'll see how long you guys want to hang out with us. But the chat is slowly going up, up to 25. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I think there's something wrong with YouTube because our live stream, we just checked, it's set for December 31st, 1969. Yeah, we click go live <laughs> and it says your stream has been scheduled for 1969. And I'm like, how? that's pre-internet. So that's a pretty impressive we're, uh, stream time. Are we time. living in the future already? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, right. oh, that's Ipa my kind of guy. Ipa oh, you want to heal before me? Uh, oh, look at this. Cheers to me, everybody. What do we got here? We got a all day Ipa. Ipa. Wow. German okay. soccer jersey in Sao Paulo drinking a Ipa. Which is, yeah. what's Ipa? It's gotta be British IPA? beer? IPA? IPA, yeah. Uh, yeah I will say Sauji. Sauji, yeah. Sauji, cheers. Sauji to you, Art. Alright. So the jet lag family. <sighs> YouTube will always be buggy. Yeah, absolutely right. Shout out to Shirley for saying hello and watching us. I will say this. I think the Jet Lag Warriors got the best fans on YouTube, Ivana. We got the best fans. We got some some nice, loyal people. Ooh, Rambutan. No, no, no. No, cherry. Is that Rambutan? Uh, lychee, lychee. Lychee, 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 lychee. Indian Pale Ale. Wildly popular style of beers. Yes, does this, does this mean it originated in India or is this a uh, English thing in India? Like British India? That would be my guess. That would be my guess as well. But definitely very popular. It's got uh, the thing about IPA is it's got a nice flavor. It's like a strong flavor. Hoppy flavor. Hoppy flavor versus Canadian beer, which is meant to taste like nothing. Right? Like Coors Light or something? It yeah. tastes like nothing. So, so this has got some bite to it. Tons, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, two or three of this is what you want. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Christmas tree. I still gotta wrap my head around uh, Christmas, 35 degrees. <laughs> something special. Something new. <laughs> bom dia, bom dia to Cortes de uh, do Momento. Cortes, what's Cortes? Cortes, the word Cortes. Cortes? Where is that? Uh, this fellow's name or a person's name is Cortes do Momento. Oh, Cortes. Um, Cortes. Cortes is like cuts. 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 So he might be like a hairdresser. Hairdresser. Yeah. I thought it was something like C's because do Momento, I thought it was the moment. Oh, it is. So it's like cuts of the moment. Oh, cuts yeah. of the moment. Yeah. Maybe he's a video editor. Ooh, I cuts like of the video. moment. Yeah. Very nice. Shout out to you. Shout out to everyone in the chat. We're slowly going up here. 31. People not too shabby. You gotta love the, the street festivals in Brazil because there is a bit of a reality where if you just do the thing that happy people do, you become happy. Right? 
not if, that hard. It's not that hard. What do happy people do? They get out there, they hang around, eat some food, do some dancing. If you do that, you'll get happy. How, how to be happy, act happy. How to be younger, act younger. Ivana, you're right. I think it's right. Oh, here we go. We got the breakdown of IPA. Uh, originated in England. And legend serves that the beer was made with enough hops to preserve the beer from the long trek from India, uh, England to India. Interesting. Wow, look at that. Every live stream is a bit of a history challenge. Yeah, I'm learning a lot today. Inadvertent Thanks history to like fans. challenge. <laughs> so they made the hoppy to bring it all the way to India and not go bad. It's like a natural oh. preservation. In Canada, we just fill up, fill up preservatives. That's our strategy. <laughs> Good job, India. I, I think it's too windy for the piano lady to be lifted up. I think you're right, just me. Oh, yeah. Can you guys hear the wind on the wind noise? Hopefully the audio is okay. We did not bring the microphone because we're doing this no frills operation here in the street. But uh, beautiful day, Christmas tree behind me, beer in my hand with my buddy Art. Yep. What could be better than this? Been a lot of fun here in Sao Paulo. A lot of fun in Saint. And I'm enjoying seeing my home city and home country through these guys' eyes because it's very hard for me to see it as a foreigner, but they are helping me very much with that. Interesting. Yeah. Well, glad we got help. You owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> or two, or ten. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can hear us. I think it might be a little windy. If anything, we can get out of the wind if, if we need to. But I think we're doing okay. Let us know in the chat if the, uh, the audio is perfect. Ah, oh, fantastic. Thanks, Shirley. Enjoying all our vlogs. We should have some interesting vlogs coming up because Art will open some doors for us. Move some sticks around. Oh, move some sticks? Yeah. Oh, we say pull some strings. Pull some strings, yeah. But we'll move say, some sticks, we'll okay. Move some sticks. That's interesting. I'll move uh, my little sticks is what we say. Move my little sticks. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Can you move your little sticks for me? Sure thing. So I'm ready for a street performance. Hopefully we can see some music and or... Around that region, there's usually a little more. It's still busy, actually. It's crazy busy. I was worried it would be because the weather is kind of iffy. You guys can see a little bit of blue skies over there, but mostly gray, but people are out and enjoying. Yeah, this is what we call our beach because um, people from Rio make fun of us because we want beaches here. Ah, so, so the street party is the Sao... Sao Paulo. Paulo Beach. Yeah. All the shopping malls are beaches as well, unfortunately. The shopping mall is the beach. Shopping malls. Yeah, shopping malls and street parties are the beaches. Awesome. Well, I'm glad the audio is working well because hopefully we'll hear some music coming soon and we can all jam out and enjoy the Sao Paulo Beach. Yeah. That's, right. a, good, that's, a, good, that's a good vlog title, Ivana. We do, do yeah. some, do some, we went to the beach in Sao Paulo because people will click just, just to say, there's no beach in Sao Paulo, man. And they'll say, yeah, this is the beach in Sao Paulo. Praia, it's called. Praia. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> Fantastic. Hopefully it's not too shaky, the video quality. We are on the cell phone, obviously. We got a little tripod going. I think we can manage. I think we can manage. Did you recover from the scam? Yep, we're all good. Actually, the very next day, we went out for lunch to our favorite place, and the lady gave us free lunch. That was, that's something that you don't see every day in Sao Paulo. You guys are quite special. Dude, that was awesome. Big <laughs> shout out to her. And uh, we did get some comments saying, dude, there's, so much, there's better restaurants. That's a cheap one. I tell you what, we've been here 10 days or so, and that restaurant is our favorite one. The best. It's the best. It's got really nice food. The lady who works there is super nice. I mean, it's three bucks for a huge plate of food. Really, really great. Cannot beat it. Seems like uh, Brazilian people exercise quite a bit. A lot of jogging, yeah. a lot of uh, cycling, rollerblading. Sao Paulo probably a little less than Rio, because in Rio, everyone just goes to the beach and, and works out there. And here, <laughs> we do what we can on the on uh, Sunday. Right, right, right. Here's the food part. Oh, here we go. This is our food section. Only got a couple thousand coconuts. Or at least a couple hundred, I can see. Maybe we'll go in there and get a pastel brasileiro, which was nice food. Or maybe we could keep walking a bit. I can delay eating. You want to eat now or you want to wait a bit? I can, I can delay a bit. We can go for a little walk. Yeah, we can go check over there. Someone asked, what's the difference between Brazilian and Serbian food? Okay, let's break it down, Ivana. And for this one, 
We are gonna ask Ivana. You know more about food. Rice, more rice. More rice? More rice. In Brazil. And beans. And beans in Brazil. Rice and beans. Uh, and Serbian cassava. food. Cassava. Cassava. And sweet potatoes. And it's more spicy over here. <laughs> yes. More spicy. Because in Serbia um, it's just a lot of meat. Yeah, we they eat lots of meat in Serbia, but in Brazil you guys have the barbecue. We do have the barbecue. But we yeah. still haven't tried that yet. We will though. Yeah. We've got to work on that. I'm yeah. gonna take these guys for an all you can eat barbecue. Ah, I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Promise? Yeah, and we're gonna eat all mm. types of weird stuff like wild hogs and alligators and oh, stuff like that. Alligator? Really? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think I've never tried alligator. Yeah. Wow. Sure I wonder if alligator has a fishy flavor. It's kind of like um, I don't know. What the, it's kind of like a rough meat, but also kind of chewy and nice. Ah. Willing to try. I've learned from my travels, always try it once. You know? Sometimes you think it's going to be gross, and then you, uh, when you try it, you get surprised. Oh, check this guy out. He's in VR... Uh, he's in VR paradise over here. Look at this fella. I wonder what he's doing inside that thing. Is he uh, is he in Floating outer space, space, maybe? Outer space? In Canada. He's in Canada. Yeah, yeah, sure. He's in Canada in a, in a, in a snowstorm. Oh, 23 degrees, do you see? Yeah. 23 degrees, and this dude is uh, upside down and sideways. It says the air, the air quality is good. Ah, air nice. quality is good. Which is something we have to celebrate here. I wonder if... Some people do that and feel quite sick. That could, yeah, I'm looking at that guy going, might not be for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here we go, we got a singer. We got a singer. Hey, the chat is picking up, Ivana. 47 in the chat. So, big shout out to everybody watching. Let us know where you're watching from. It is our intention to grow our Brazilian subscriber. Hopefully you guys are in Brazil. If you are in Brazil, let us know what to do here. If you're not in Brazil, let us know what you'd like to see us do. Because it's uh, always interesting to have the audience ideas of what we might get up to. Obviously, there's lots of our own ideas in Brazil. There's lots to do in Brazil. Yeah. This is a nice place for tourism. I'll but honestly, a, we gotta stay more than three months. We gotta stay more than three months, Ivana says. Yeah. <laughs> Ivana's. Yeah, you got a Paraguay and back back. or something. Yeah. We'll do a visa run in Paraguay. <laughs> yeah. Ivana's so happy to eat rice in the sun. <laughs> yeah. It's true, that's right? In Europe, that's what I miss. I miss rice in Europe. It's 30 or 35 degrees and rice with every meal. Ivana says, let's stay for a couple extra months. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta go to. We gotta hit some Canadian restaurants, some Indonesian restaurants. Yes. There is one famous Canadian restaurant here. And I read the reviews online, people saying it's the best poutine they ever had. Canadian yeah. people saying, best poutine I ever had. Canucks, right? Canucks, yeah, Canucks, yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll do a Canadian food restaurant, we'll do a Indonesian food restaurant. The sun just came out here. We are partying. So thanks for joining our live stream, everybody. We should be able to have some fun in this street party. Uh, Hang Tua says there's a huge population of Japanese immigrants and descendants in Brazil. Uh, I will say stay tuned to our video coming out on Tuesday. We went to the Japanese uh, neighborhood as well as the Japanese museum and stuff. Are you going to do a nightlife vlog in Brazil? It's a good question. It's a good idea actually. I think I think I can manage to take you to some places. It's possible. I feel nervous to do it. Nightlife vlog in Brazil. We never did a nightlife vlog before. Uh, we're not exactly nightlife people in general. I'm a day drinking kind of guy. <laughs> well, so am I, but the problem is I don't stop when night comes, you know, so... Yeah, that's the problem. It turns into a night drinking situation. So. Problem is, now that we're all over 30, if you do a <laughs> night drinking, the next day is totally shot. Yeah. If you do a day drinking, you can get home by 7, have some glasses of water, and still be okay for tomorrow. Yeah. The night party now it takes two days, you know? <laughs> but maybe we'll do a night uh, nightlife vlog. Obviously, it's kind of world famous, the Brazilian nightlife. I think it's quite, yeah, for sure. quite epic. I will say you can drink beer and buy beer or alcohol yeah. until 5 in the morning, 6 in the morning. You can drink in public. You can drink in public. Cheers to that, eh, Saúde? Saúde. Which you cannot do in Canada. Mm -hmm. 
Canada, you cannot drink in public, and you can't buy alcohol after 2 a.m. <laughs> you got it right. I was explaining that to Art last week. I said, in Canada, you can't buy beer after 2 p.m. I was like, he goes, what? Wait, what about bars? Like, how bars work? <laughs> I said, sorry, 2 a.m. But, uh, yeah, maybe we will do a nightlife vlog. You got to get the permission of the club because you're in there with a GoPro, I guess, filming drunk, filming dancing people, maybe. Yeah, maybe they oh like just bars bars that you can drink on the street here so oh that's really a good finished. idea that's a good idea okay i tell you what sold we're gonna do it All right. arts in charge arts in charge <laughs> you you pick the bars and i'll buy the tab okay a lot of showing these guys around sometimes. <laughs> but yeah that's a good deal i'm down no pressure lots of pressure <laughs> quality of the video just dropped oh no maybe we're going to a section with no data well, we'll see. Keep walking. Hopefully it gets better. Uh, question from Ma-U. ma -u. Are you thinking of going to other states of Brazil? And this, this guy or lady is from Bahia. Oh, Bahia. 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 Yeah. Shout so, out to Bahia. shout out to Bahia. Thank you for your question. Certainly, we will be going to Rio. And then we'd like, we'd like to do some sort of road trip where you can see multiple states. We're thinking a month in Sao Paulo, a month in Rio, and then a month of uh, going around and seeing everything. Obviously, uh, ideally, we do 90 days of exploring, but it's super tiring to do, you know, every three or four days, new accommodations and new states and driving and going. So, oh, here we go. We got a street performer here doing football. Let's watch out because this is the bike lane. And I'm very good at getting the bell rung. People ringing at me. We've got a street performer here. Uh, Jet Live Night Party. That's not a bad idea, too. We could do our night live vlog, a uh, live stream. Because I will say, Vama Veke was like an amazing live stream place. It was so fun. This guy's doing tricks. Oh, look at this. So I think the guy in yellow is in charge, and he's and he's uh, train training this guy. <laughs> ah, it's a creative uh, creative street performance. He gets the ball out and does some trick or skills challenge. Very nice. There you have it. Could you visit, or sorry, you could visit the Cultura bookshop where you are. Uh, yeah, I think Art actually pointed that out to us. Um, maybe we will check it out today. Uh, somebody asked a question saying, dun, 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 dun. Oh, shout out to Niche. And three months in Brazil, maybe... Sorry guys, lots of questions to answer. Let me go through these questions here. I've been watching people play soccer. Uh, first things first, shout out to Niche. Uh, let's see the question. We still love Niche. One question says, three months in Brazil, after that Pakistan, that's Wee Fung, might be the answer. Although after Brazil, we might be in love with South America and keep going around South America a little bit more. Yeah, we'll see. But after that, we might go to Pakistan. Um, are you planning on renting a car from Ian? Yeah, that might be the idea. Maybe. We'd like to do one month in Sao Paulo, one month in Rio, and then uh, at least a couple weeks of exploring. We should go to the south as well. Go to the south, yeah. yeah. These, these kind of trips, road trips and stuff, can get very tiring. If you do it for a month or six weeks, it's very tiring. In Romania, we did a road trip that was, I think it was like five weeks. Yeah. And at the end of it, it was like I couldn't drive anymore. I was going insane. <laughs> you got blisters. I had, I had blisters on my hand from holding the steering wheel because Ivana did not drive. So we will do a road trip, but it won't be a six-week road trip. Yeah. That's my point. Um, but yes, the goal would be to... Uh, See how it's our beach? See how it's our Do beach? a it's car. A it's a beach. Look, guys, it's a beach. The Sao Paulo beach right there. Saoji. It's a beach. He's got his beach, his beach uh, umbrella, and a little bit of uh, I love it. beach chairs. That's awesome. 
Oh, good guys, man. Good guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, wow, wow. Shout out to Sergio Sorel. Talking about beaches, you must include... Okay, okay. Ivana, pronunciation challenge. Let me see. Talking about beaches, you must include this word. M-A-C-E-I-O with an accent. I say... Maceo. Ma oh. I say it's going to end in a want. It's mas... Merci Ma 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 That's the wrong, that's the wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm waiting for his final guess. I'm saying it sounds like it's uh, Japanese or something. Uh, ma 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 Say it again. Ma Oh, you're... Both of you are not doing that great because the C has an S sound. Oh, so it's mas, mas yo. Ah. yo. But mas I'm gonna give it to yo. Ivana again. You're gonna give it to Ivana? Again, this is yeah. just classic sexism. This is just, <laughs> this is just textbook, uh, textbook sexism. Uh, who is it from? So thank anyway, so my much. point was thank you very much for the super chat from Sergio Sorrel. Sergio, Sorrell. thank you. Um, Masayo. 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 Yeah, it's to uh, the north. Ivana and I were doing the Maki and the Maki. Yeah. It's totally wrong. Uh, so thank you very much for the super chat and the advice. We will try to do good beach. Uh, let's ask our local yeah, well, you know, local never, beach expert. I have never been to Masayo, but I've heard Where, it is which beautiful. Which is? Uh, that's a state in uh, the north. Yeah. So Sorry. Alagoas is the. Uh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> to go so to the, what you're saying is we could make a vlog from Masay Masayo, yeah, so and Masayo. we and we could say. Even locals don't know about this place. <laughs> well, I know about it. I've just never been there. Yeah. <laughs> Even locals don't come here. It's in Alagoas, the state of Alagoas. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, look at this. What's this? There's an angel. Whoa, guys. Oh. Like I said, be prepared for some very creative street performances. Or street, uh... I mean, this is sort of scary. This is a... This is really something. He's getting ready. This is... Uh, what does that sign say, Art? It says pres uh, hey, Prestigi. Uh, <laughs> that took a lot of uh, preparation and effort to really go for, uh, go all out with the costume there. Good for him. Uh, someone is asking, Ma U is asking, uh, yes, we'll probably do Iguazu Falls, although we saw the other side of Iguazu Falls from Argentina a couple years ago, but everyone recommends Iguazu Falls, so we just might do that. This guy is killing the triangle. Oh, man. Very nice. Can't beat it. Part-time triangle, part-time dancing. With a, little, with a little leather hat, I think. Very nice. Oh, the style of music is called Boho from the north of Brazil. And people dance to it together, very central. Very nice. This is why I travel with a local. This is the uh, part two of the white hair and statue type performance. We see lots of statues today. Many statues. Very, very nice. So. Yeah, which is kind of exciting. If you're a street performer, you get to mix it up. This week you're doing a statue. Next week you're doing the. Uh, remember, remember we saw the uh, baby Jesus and yeah. Mother Mary and uh, Joseph street performance. So I guess they mix it up every week. Very nice. Absolutely cannot beat the vibe here on the street parties. It's a it's a time like this that makes me think, man, I am so done with the snow. You know, imagine doing this, you just know, you know, 20 below and stuff. It's oh, like, no. you just want to do 20, 25 to 35 degrees. That's where you want to live, right there. We got some sweet popcorn here. Out here in the street, popcorn, music, and IPA. Saoji. <laughs> Saoji. Got it. Ooh, popcorn. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Oh, this guy's killing it. Let's uh, let's stand here for a minute. These guys are on a roll.
what would be a nice thing to say in Portuguese when someone does a nice performance? What would you say? How would you Bravo. cheer? Bravo. Yeah, you could say bravo, but it's more Italian, I guess. So you uh. could say, muito bem, muito bem. Muito oh. bem. Oh, this one sounds really good. Bam, bam, bam. By the way, what is he playing? The, the wooden box? It's called a cajon. Cajon. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, just a wooden box. It's the middle. So it, yeah, the middle is more like a bass sound, and on top it's more like a snare. Like a sound. snare, yeah. yeah. It's I got his. Have one and then I punch the hole. Lua and Carlos. Yeah. Lua. Lua and Carlos. Lua. 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 The A with the thing on top. Ah. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shirley Harold. Dinner and drinks on me. Oh, thank you. Let's give a huge thank, thank you, you. Shirley. Or should I say a huge brigado? Oh, we got it. To Shirley, thank you very much. Very nice super chat. Dinner and drinks on me. You know what that means? Soji. Oh, whoa. for sure. Thanks, Shirley. Come in handy in the cowboy here. Yes, <laughs> Dallas Cowboys are playing in uh, less than two and a half hours. We've got a full day of excitement ahead of us. Big thank you to Shirley Harold, uh, a regular on the Jet Lag Warriors. What did you call it? Jet Lag Warriors? Jet Lag Warriors fam. Fam. Yeah. Family. Yeah. Jet Lag Warriors fam. You got fam. your cousins, your aunts, your uncles. You got your cousins, your aunts, and your uncles. <laughs> Big brigado to Shirley. Do, 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 bam, bam, bam. Good music, no? Yeah, this happens a lot. So, uh, uh, comment, music is this comment from RF uh, says Samba or Pagodji? Samba. Yeah. samba. Can you can you dance Samba? I am a terrible. I grew up in California. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> but uh, a comment from slide, so. yeah, yeah. A comment from RF says, "Why would you spend one month in Sao Paulo? What a waste." Uh, we were actually just talking about this. We do this in a lot of countries. We go to one of the biggest cities, whether it's the capital or just the you know population center, and spend time there. Seems to have the most museums for us. Also, it's got a huge audience for us to try and get the traction going with new viewers. And also, it's usually a good spot for food. Yeah, so when food, you get to a new Paulo country... Got the most diverse food. Like yes, exactly. Over so. North and the world and, and the, the world, world yeah so obviously there's lots to do in brazil but if we just started doing things right away uh we might miss out on a better way of doing it that some local could help us with so our strategy is go to a big city first whether it's the capital or something like sao paulo and, and then try and yeah try and get some more views up as you pump out some food videos and some museum videos and then you can um meet people and people will reach out to you and say, hey man, if you're gonna go to Rio, make sure you go to this place. If you're gonna go to the south of Brazil, make sure you do it this way. And it really helps us. So uh, it's a pretty common comment. People say, why would you spend so much time in a big city like Sao Paulo, it's such a waste. But for us, I think it's the right idea. Although to be clear, we are still learning. As a wise man once said, what are you lining up for? Steve, what do you know? That's what I'm trying to find out. Oh, huge lineup over here. It's probably some like government. Something epic is happening over here. Oh, this might be not related to the street party. Oh, it and it might be a uh, lineup for some political thing. I'm not sure. Well, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what we saw earlier too. It's like they put a person in the front and they teach a dance. It's yeah. like exercising. It's probably free. You probably just go stand and do it, no? Sure, yeah. Maybe you'd make a donation at the like end. It's called Fit Dance or something. Like fit that. Dance. Yeah, it's fun and... This is what I mean. If you were in a bad mood, imagine this. Imagine you're in a bad mood. You're having a bad Sunday. You know, it's been a rough week or something. If you just went in that crowd there and started dancing, it would make you happy. You know what I'm saying? If you just, If you just do the thing a happy person does, you get happy. Someone said the line is for the Spider-Man movie. Really? <laughs> no, just, just kidding. I think 4D, 4D Spider-Man. 4D Spider-Man. <laughs> Look at these people, man. <laughs> Got a skateboarder behind me who is uh, killing it, actually. Look at these people, dude. And how do they learn the moves? Maybe, maybe they do this every week. Yeah, let's give her, let's give her, let's give her. 
Ah, oh, nice try, nice try, nice try, nice try. Dude. Someone says try a drink called Skull Beats. <laughs> say no, no fucking way. What is that? Is <laughs> it girl like the worst beers in Brazil, probably? <laughs> but but Steve has been having Skull, so Skull Beats is just a version of Skull, oh. which is like probably even worse than the original. Sorry to whoever. Fair enough. Maybe they were pranking me. Maybe they want me to try yeah, this yeah. back. <laughs> we're trying to get him into more of an original guy. Yeah. Or yes, I'm gonna be an original yeah. guy. So there's a beer called Original. Yeah. I actually like that OG, one. OG. The cheapest beer, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, Ivana's favorite Skull. beer is the cheapest one. I said, oh, Ivana, cheapest. that's my kind of girl. Well, you favorite. haven't tried the cheapest yet. Oh, the cheapest. Yeah, cheapest. If you want to go okay. cheap, cheap, you might not like it. So. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Beats yeah, is the mean? official. Okay. Beats is the official drink of Carnival. Let's keep walking. They might pay for Carnival. They might pay for it, but it's not yummy. There you have it, guys. Oh, by the way, Michael Jordan jerseys. For everyone who says North America's got no culture, seems to have pretty dominant pop culture. Two dance leaders uh, wearing Michael Jordan jerseys. Hey, Vanna, live stream is doing fairly well. So welcome to all our new viewers. We get 70 in the chat, which is pretty good for one of our live streams. Hello, hello. Uh, we have just arrived in Brazil maybe two Wait, weeks ago or two 10 weeks? days ago, let's say. <laughs> we will be probably staying for the full 90 days on our visa-free Canadian passport mm -hmm. and potentially even more than 90 because we're having quite a good time. So if you're new to our channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and boop the like button. And boop the like button. <laughs> Tell your friends. Hey, shout out to Zaki in the chat. What? Thank you for joining. I know it's fairly late in Malaysia, but this is one of the realities of having an international audience. I should say an international audience, is we struggle to find uh, the right time to upload and stream and stuff like that. So we chose to do an earlier live stream today as a hope of getting our Malaysian viewers reinvigorated in the Jet Lag Warriors fam. Okay, Ivana, Ivana. Ivana. Is that Itayu or Itau? Hold on, hold on. This is a challenge, Ivana. Challenge. So right now the score is 2 nothing for Ivana, which uh, I will say there's been a controversy of the judging. The, the judging has been questionable at best. <laughs> okay. You, you have a chance no. of coming back, man. I was Itau. Okay, okay. Hold on. Uh, the, the, so this is the thing. The accent on the U <laughs> is going up, which means it's Itau. 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 All right, I'm gonna go with. What was your answer, Ivana? Itau. Itwa. No, no, no. That's French. That's French. That's French. That's French. That's French. Then you don't know why you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even get the, the letters in okay, the order. Okay, Itau. Itau. Okay, you guys gave both. Same answer. Same answer, and it's correct. Correct. <laughs> okay, Ivana. Ivana. Uh, next challenge, right here. Okay. Portuguese challenge. Uh, the first word there. Yep. Edificio. 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 I'm gonna give it to Steve on this. Edificio. One. One, so two one, yeah. Two one. Because you got a that, draw. That tie there, was man, a tie. Yeah. And it, it, what's it? G ficio. It's like a J sound. Oh, I should have known that. Yeah. The edificio D is often a G. Means building. Ah. Building. Edificio means building. Edificio. Edificio. Yeah. So the C is an S and the D is a G. Yeah. It's a. The G I is an E. Edificio. Edificio. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's good. Okay, so it's 2-1 in the pronunciation challenge. Uh, stay tuned for the epic comeback from me. <laughs> why is it so difficult? Do you mean why is it so difficult for everyone or why is it so difficult specifically for us? Because Ivana and I both are pretty bad at pronunciation, although Ivana is the pronunciation champ. Uh, see, this is the thing. What's good about Portuguese is it's still Latin base. So somebody asks, is Serbian harder? Yes, because Serbian's got symbols in in the alphabet that i can't even recognize so it's still easier than serbian latin alphabet a b c d e f g where serbian's got uh like that one symbol it's like a keyhole i don't even know or like the, the backwards r you know itau means black stone it says uh itau means black stone oh really so that would be it's probably like in the native uh tongue right? oh that, like 
I mean, it's a pretty cheap bank, so I'm not gonna say shout out to Ita Uber. <laughs> no shout out to Ita You should visit Oscar. Here, go ahead. You wanna take over one? Go ahead. Oscar Frey Freyer? The uh, most expensive what? street in Sao oh, Paulo. Oh, Oscar Freire, yeah. Um, yeah, it's like a fancy ass street, a lot of expensive. And uh, also, Giovanna said we should try the metro. Yeah, I was gonna tell you guys actually. <laughs> I took the metro again yesterday for the first time in two years. How is we it? We have a new line here, the yellow line, which kind of gets you to a lot of cool places. So okay, let's try it one day. The yellow line. Let's we go. Can, uh, make a whole video on the metro. Yeah. People around the world like to see other cities. Right, like right. It's right. Like a competition of whose cities doing the best. Right? Which, by the way, Korea is one. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Seoul, South Korea is the best measure ever. That's true. But maybe Sao Paulo will be the new number one. Maybe on the nightlife uh, vlog we can take the metro as well. Oh, metro and nightlife vlog, only one? Not bad, yeah. All right. Uh, okay. What's to do with recycling in... in yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's keep going. It's kind of quiet around this area. It's kind of ending here, the street party. You can see the cars going by. Okay, let's go back. You're done? I'm back. Yeah. Okay, going back. Can so I we'll pull a U-turn. Yeah. Then we'll get some food. Uh, I can go for one more... Cervejinha. Cervejinha? I mean, the small one, no? Small one. No, but small would one. you call it cervejinha? It's like, oh, I can go for a little beer. Ah, uh, okay, a little beer. Uma, uma cervejinha. Uma? Cervejinha. Uma cervejinha. Yeah. I go. could go for uma cervejinha. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. I got Willie Nelson here. A Willie Nelson over here. Uh, very nice. I do have that popcorn smell in my nose, and it's being very. Tempting. Yeah, tempting is the word. Very nice. I guess you should try some sweet popcorn after you have a savory. Sure. Yeah, Art is a fan of the sweet popcorn, which for me, it's salty all the way. Look at this guy doing tricks, doing tricks, doing tricks. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought he was going to fall. If I filmed him falling, I'd be so embarrassed. I'd be like, sorry, man. What is this lineup for? Uh, I'm going to try to investigate this. Sure, sure. So oh, our I friend Art, local local Polistano, is going to investigate why there's, no kidding, 300 people in line for this club Ums. So he'll go over there and do some investigation. In the meantime, I can uh, catch up on some comments. Uh, biryani challenge. Can you find biryani in Brazil? So we did see an Indian restaurant, which would not be Pakistani biryani, obviously, but we did find an Indian restaurant in the Japanese village. It's interesting they call it Japanese village or Liberdaji because there's Korean places, there's Indian places. Yeah. It's sort of an Asian village. Although I think it's like 90% well, yeah, Japanese. Yeah, mostly Japanese. Vast majority Japanese. But we did see an Indian restaurant, so maybe we can get some biryani for a video. Yeah. So I do on? love her, yeah. yeah. So apparently it's like a huge thrift shop situation. It must be like an annual thrift shop, famous thing. Oh, they're lining up for a thrift shop. It must be quality. Yeah. Ever since that Macklemore song, the thrift shop's been <laughs> bumping. I'm going to pop some <laughs> Okay, there you have it, guys. So in Sao Paulo, you might wait in line for, I mean, you got to be in line for an hour for this, no? It goes around the corner. It goes around the corner and it's for a thrift shop. If you, get, if you gave me 25 guesses, I was not ever going to guess thrift shop. I was unguessable. Wow. Absolutely unguessable. Look at this. You must go to the northeast of Brazil. Northeast. Yeah. So which area is that northeast? Northeast, to be up on the ocean there. Yeah, so Bahia is not too far. Bahia is Bahia? kind of there. Um, you got, I think, um, I like uh, Maceió is in that region. Mm. You got... Someone says, can you read this? Cevapici. Let me see. Cevapici. This is uh, Romanian. Cevapici. Is that Romanian or Serbian? Oh no. Uh, Cevap. Oh, Romanian. Uh, Serbian, sorry. Cevap. Cevapici. Little, little Cevap. Cevapici. Cevapici. <laughs> we'll see if I'm right. The pronunciation challenge is getting a little old in my books because it's just me doing it wrong every week. <laughs> it's just video proof I'm not clever. But look at the lineup, no joke, look at the lineup for the uh, thrift shop, wow. There you have it, it's Serbian. I should have known it was Serbian, that was my uh, my mistake. Jeva Beach. But look at this, guys, it goes on forever. All right, estimation challenge. How many people are on the street right now? 
I got uh, I got seven thousand four hundred and sixty. No, that's a bit high, isn't it? No. Four thousand seven hundred sixty. I was thinking that's low. Low. Guess how many people are on the street, guys? Look. I'm gonna look for an estimate. On that. Might be an estimate. There's tons of people. Tell you what. I think I'm gonna learn a lot about what it means to be happy and joyous. Oh, look at this. On a cycle. Yeah. <laughs> Ian says, uh, now that you guys are trying to guess, just go ahead and count one by one. Because around the corner there. Yeah, this is the most epic line for a thrift shop I've ever seen. Hold the jump in. What? Epic line for a thrift shop, $1 no? $1 for a pizza? Yeah, maybe it's a huge sale. Like, it's $1 for a bunch of good clothes. Who knows? Yo, this is no joke. There's got to be 500 people in line. It goes down the next street for a thrift shop. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, we thought that was long. It was 15 people in line. So somebody asked, why are there so many Japanese people in Brazil? After like, uh, uh, so here's the thing. Good question, because we just went to the immigration uh, Japanese Immigration Museum and right. so we just learned the answer to your question the idea is after slavery was abolished um, like 10 or 15 years after that so early 1900s uh, Japan and Brazil signed a agreement where they needed lots of farmers so a bunch of Japanese people came over to Brazil and did farming of all different types could be silk could be rice, could be tea, coffee. could be coffee, could be something called R A M I E Rami, which is almost like uh, which twine. Is from Malaysia. Which is from Malaysia, actually, coincidentally. Could be jute, could be a whole bunch of stuff. It's funny because Mal Malaysia brought Rami to Brazil, but Brazil brought rubber to Mal Malaysia. Malaysia brought Rami to Brazil, and Brazil brought rubber to Malaysia. Yes. Interesting side note. Yeah. Not Japanese related, but very interesting. <laughs> Um, and so this is why there's so many Japanese people. Now, after World War II, a lot of Japanese people stopped coming because uh, Japan was the enemy of Brazil in World War II and some of the Japanese people were not treated so well. But because, you know, early 1900s up until 1940, there was so many Japanese people coming to Brazil. There's lots of people here who are, who are third or fourth or fifth generation Brazilian. We actually got a really nice clip the other day. We were in the Japanese market and there was a guy selling some noodles, like a nice Japanese noodle shop in the street. And I'm like, are you Japanese? And he goes, no, I'm Brazil. Yeah, Brazilian. He goes, my grandfather is Japanese. I am Brazilian. Outra cerveja? Outra cerveja. Uh, uma cervejinha. Si, 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 si. si. <laughs> So good question about why there's so many Japanese people here and perfect timing because we just went to that museum and that video will be released Tuesday. So uh, let's sneak across. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, I just missed it. Ivana, there's something about dancing. You can't dance in a bad mood, can you? You can't dance. You can't dance in a bad mood. Dancing makes you happy. We got a boiled corn here. Bossa Nova, which is distinctly Brazilian. Good one, Ivana. Cerveja has entered the chat. Hey, what's the cash? I got cash. Okay. So Art is expecting to have at least two more beers. So cool. Because he bought the first two, he said, you buy the next two. Hey. That means we're having four beers today. <laughs> Bossa Nova is samba with jazz. Oh, that is so 
interesting that there's so many Japanese people. Oh my gosh! Oh. Yo, I just took that straight in the head. <laughs> Ow! Yo! Yo! The wind is crazy! Did you guys see that? Uh, that umbrella just smashed me square in the side of the head. <laughs> Didn't hurt, don't worry. It's no windy, problem. It's windy. Wow, it's windy. It's our fault. It's our fault. Wow, that was really something. <laughs> this umbrella just clocked me in the head. Woo! I guess the umbrellas don't like foreigners. Yep. What we heard was true. Brazil is not safe for foreigners. The umbrellas attack you. <laughs> I'm not sure if the video captured it or not, but... She's okay, she's okay. She's okay. <laughs> it smashed her in the head, that was hilarious. I thought someone was trying to punch me or something. I was like, ah, leave me okay? alone! I'm okay. <laughs> There you have it. There you have it, guys. Ivana, here's a slightly racist but still a comment. Someone says, compliment, still a compliment. Someone says, I can't believe she has Chinese DNA and has so much rhythm. <laughs> it's a compliment to the rhythm with a little bit of a, a, little bit of a twist Who to the. Uh, 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 someone named RF. Chinese. Like every time Ivana comes to Avenida Paulista, there's some sort of. Uh... <laughs> Some sort of uh, interesting approach, but Ivana definitely has rhythm. Great dancer. Ivana and I actually fell in love on the dance floor. Yes or no? Yes. Actually, yes. No. Actually, no. But we did dance a couple times when we were younger. We went dancing. Remember? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. We took times. some dance classes. We took some dance classes. We went dancing to the club. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I might have a concussion from that umbrella. Damn concussed. <laughs> Did it actually hit you in the head? It smashed me in the head. <laughs> it didn't hurt because it's all flexible. The umbrella is all bendy, so it just kind of hit me and bent on my head, but it was just funny. I stayed at her beer thing because I thought everyone would start stealing the beer. If, uh, oh, if good move. Was, yeah. Good move. Da -na -na. Okay, here we go. Jet Lake Warriors, do you know the five biomes what? of Brazil? What's a biome? I think a biome is like a... I think it's like a, like a, like a rainforest. Like a beach. Is there, is there a desert? No. Rainforest, beach, is there plains? No. Rainforest, mountainous, beach. Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure beach is one. I might have made that up. It would be. Uh, five biomes. I would say rainforest, beach. Oh, maybe like swamp? Swamp. Yeah. Swamp. Um, uh, I got three. There's beach is not a biome. Yeah, they're saying beach is not a biome. It's like a nice place to chill. It's not a biome. I don't know what biome. So definitely rainforest and definitely swamp. Um, yeah. And definitely mountains. mountains. So we got three out of five. That's not bad. That's a pass. <laughs> That's a pass in high school. 60%. Yeah. And by the way, RF has come back and said, come on now. That was not racism. You're right. It was not racism. It was just an interesting, <laughs> interesting comment, but uh, to say the least. But it is true. Ivana has uh, incredible rhythm. Oh, is our friend again? Oh. <laughs> Stiff as a board? Yeah. Stiff as a board? Yeah, great comment from uh, Hang Tua. Looks very safe and peaceful. This is how it used to look like yeah, it's. Avenue. Oh, good one, Ivana. I'll come back to Hang Tua's comment in a second. This is uh, 1891, if and you see at the top used to there. Be, uh, sugar cane farms. Sugar like cane sugar farms cane on farms. each side. And now look at all the buildings. Used to look like that, which is uh, a good 130 years ago. And now it looks like this. Woo! From farm to concrete farm. Well, that didn't work. I was going to say jungle to concrete jungle, but farm didn't work out. Yeah, sorry about that, Weefung. I don't know why your video, uh, I should say, our video was coming through in bad quality for a while there. We are on data, obviously, so maybe the data was just not working out so hot and it was just kind of lagging. I don't know. But in the end, we're glad to be loud and clear. And as I was saying, uh, Hang Tua, yeah, I think it's quite safe here in Brazil. I would say there's certainly spots you shouldn't go with a Rolex on, like a favela or something, but we really have no intention of going there. And we also do not own a Rolex. 
so we should be okay. There's <laughs> lots of safe places to explore. We've and, already been uh, to like pretty much the most dangerous area of Sao Paulo, which is the, the center. center. And you guys have done pretty well already. So Yeah, unfortunately that was our first day. We, went, right. we ended up yeah. there. So we're thinking, oh my gosh, what if the whole city is like this or something? Yeah, it's, you know, certain areas you shouldn't go at a certain time. But when you're from here, you don't really go to those areas. Yes. Like, you know when not to go. So. And shout out to Art for uh, helping us out. My pleasure. All credit goes to Art, okay? <laughs> Anyone who subscribes to our channel, go and subscribe to Art's channel. Yeah, it's Gringo a Nation. Gringo Nation. It's a double subscribe challenge. <laughs> Why don't you guys leave Sao Paulo and go visit other places? Yep, we will. We'll be going to Rio next, and then we'll be going probably on a road trip and going around. Um, we like to take some time. There was a huge bug on my head. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> that was the Amazon rainforest bug. Oh my gosh, guys! It was like as big. It was like this big on the side of my head. Wow, that just uh, that just startled me. Uh, the chat has dubbed you Art the Great. Ooh, Which, uh, what could be better Thank than that? Guys. Oh, I like your fans already. Art the Great. <laughs> I like it. It's Art right. o Grande in Portuguese. Art the Grande. Oh, o, o Grande. Ah, uh, Art yeah. o Grande. Uh, obrigado, obrigado. Ask, ask Gringo, is weed legal? Uh, it's not legal, but that said, that, like, last night I was at a bar that was like, you could actually smoke in the bar, so it's like, oh, wow. it's not legal, but people smoke. Right. Look at this girl. Not like Indonesia or something where no, you're you alive like in jail or something. Or yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, here we have the uh, Brazilian Spice Girls. Yeah, there, there has been a Brazilian that tried to take drugs to uh, Indonesia and he got executed. Yeah, it's like crazy yeah. in Indonesia. No, no. Brazilian Spice Girls, <laughs> aka the Cassava Girls. No, no, no. Uh, Acai Girls. Acai. It would be the Acai Girls. For sure, be the Acai Girls. <laughs> There you have it, the SIE girls right here. It's actually got a good ring to it. I like it. SIE girls and some clowns. Hola! Ivana's gonna start the SIE girls. Ivana's gonna start the SIE girls. Surprisingly rhythmic Chinese girls, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> that's a really funny comment. That was very memorable. Yes, we're coming for you. BTS, we're coming for you. Absolutely right. I just can't believe this happens every Sunday. It's so great, man. You know? Yeah, all year, every Sunday. But it's only been happening for about 10 to 15, 10 years, 15 years maybe. Ah, uh, here's a question. If it were raining, would it be empty or just much less? Uh, people would just kind of go underneath uh, something until it stopped raining and then we come right back. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But yeah, of course, a little less. A little bit less, yeah, it makes sense. This popcorn is but smelling. But we, we poly channels know that the rain never lasts too long, usually. So. Right, it's kind of the beauty of the tropical rain. It's like, uh, take shelter, come back. Yeah, and also it's good. not so cold. Buttery. The popcorn smells so good, right? <laughs> yeah. Man, I want to buy some buttery, salty popcorn. <laughs> so nice. Where do they play field hockey in Brazil? Field hockey. As I have been to every country that plays hockey. Hold on, that plays hockey. Both the playing coach. Uh, play field hockey here or no? Uh, you know what? They play a lot of sports here in Brazil. Like um, they play rugby. They play. They probably even play ice hockey. But it's like uh, because I don't play, I don't know where they play. Fair. But I'm sure they play somewhere. Actually, we learned at the Japanese museum, uh, uh, baseball is in Brazil. Obviously, yeah. Baseball was brought here from Japan. Oh, I believe it. The yeah. Japanese brought baseball here, which is so funny to think baseball is in USA. It doesn't go just south to Brazil. It goes to Japan and then yep, back. Yep. It's like goes around the globe to get here. The longest possible road. There's a baseball stadium here. I know. No, no, USA made baseball. Oh, really? USA is a, is a, a, a baseball is a, is a United States pastime. Go Dodgers. Go Dodgers. Oh, fellow uh, LA person. Yeah, man. Dodgers. That was my first Dodgers game recently. Really? Yeah. LA. So, most important question. Art was born in Brazil until age three. Yep. Went to LA at age three, came back to Brazil at age 13. The obvious, shallow, and sort of nonsensical question, what's better, Sao Paulo or LA? SP well, or LA? Uh, when, Obviously, it's not a fair question, but you gotta ask a nonsense question. Yeah, like when, I, when my parents told me not to come back, I was really sad because my whole life was in LA, but I do not regret it. I'm so glad I had my like formative years in Brazil because I think I would be completely different if I had grown up in America. I think I'm more open-minded for having grown up in Brazil. So I'm gonna have to give it to my home country. Boom! You heard it here first. Yeah. LA stinks. SP rocks. LA does kind of stink. But do you find it similar? 
I don't find it similar. No. no. Quite different, right? LA is probably one of the most overrated cities in the world. Yo, agree. We were in LA and we were like, I mean, you guys think you guys think we were scared of the homelessness problem in SP and we were nervous. Dude, LA is on another level. LA is like, for the biggest economy in the world, LA has real issues. Yeah, downtown is not. Downtown is square. Once the sun goes down, it's a whole different city. Uh, LA is a totally wild place. We were sleeping in our car on a road trip, yeah, road trip. right near Venice Beach, and it was like, it was like, what am I doing here? Yeah. So anyway, very interesting opinion from Art, the uh, dual citizen. Very, very nice. Okay, guys, if the chat wants to vote for what we should eat, feel free, because I'm willing to eat anything. I could go for a pastel, which is over here. Uh, we Fung has a good question. What is your expectation of Brazil? Um, should be pretty good now that we've been here for a couple days we've learned quite a bit and it should be a really good experience look no further ivana i will go for a bacon cheeseburger uh vote in the chat guys you so far our options are pastel uh bacon cheeseburger or cerveza cerveza i should say chinese food over here which is very interesting Oh, whoa, look at that thing. That's what I want. That's what I want. Look at the size of that walk. Is that a walk? No, it's huge. Ooh, baby. Woo, baby. Yo, is that a Polish sausage? What is that? Sandwich. They make it into a sandwich like oh, this. Oh, Calabrese. Uh, I think we found it, guys. Munches, what is that? Snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lunches. Uh, this is good food right What's here. What's the difference between lunches and sagaros? Is it sagaros snacks? Yeah, sorry, we fung. We'll circle Sometimes. back around yeah. and uh, uh, get back to your like question. Sandwiches. Our taste buds uh, have distracted us. Right. Oh, here's the five. Here's the five uh, biomes, by the way. Oh, cool. We got Amazon. Oh. Atlantic. So it's forest. like specific places. Yeah, Cerrado. Yeah. Wetland. Yeah. Oh, so wetland we got right swamp kind of. swamp yeah. and jump savannah is like just a really dry area it's like desert almost yeah almost like a desert yeah. there you have it so we were like two for five on that one well, everyone everyone is saying we have to get co cochinha cochinha yeah cochinha yeah, yeah. they have it here somewhere uh you might have had it already it's, it's a salgado it's a, it's a triangle salgado oh like we never tried we should try it ivana the, the by far the most popular vote okay let's look for that that's what we'll get by the way ivana i will say Art, Art bought me that beer, and I haven't even held it yet. <laughs> She's getting more and more rhythmic. Amazonian food. Uh, okay, let's check it out. Looks real good. Looks real good. From the north. Food from the north region. Okay. This is where I got that, that stuff uh, with the tingly, oh, tingly cachaça uh, that you guys saw in the vlog. Okay. Which was quite nice actually. We can go for more of that later. Mouth tingle cachaça. Okay. So we're lo our goal for now is coxinha. Find a coxinha. It won't take too long. All right, we'll find some coxinha. Next stop, coxinha. Uh, Japanese food. Oh yeah, some sushi here. Which looks pretty good and gyoza, says Ivana. We've got uh, French fries. So it is true that Brazil and especially Sao Paulo is very multicultural and multi uh, foodical, multi culinary. This is some kind of churros and or acai. Oh, great comment from just me. Great comment, great comment. I want you guys to hear this one. Thou art very ha uh, very lucky to have art. Oh. Someone said that? Yeah. Oh, That's thank so you. nice. Just amazing. With the double art in there, it's just great commenting. Oh, we got a, we got a subscriber named Just Me. He always nails it with the comments. Nice. Thank you. Is that Just Me? Just Me. Obrigado, so, Just Me. Thank obrigado, you. Just Me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thou art very lucky to have art. <laughs> That's a nice It's right That's and nice it's funny. One. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah. And it's just, and it's right, you know? 
That's good. That's a good. Uh, you came up with a good. Yeah, the the chat is coming alive. Everyone's saying pure poetry. Great comment. Pure poetry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pure poetry. <laughs> wow. Gotta give oh, it to oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. I think we have a girl here or someone. Your friend is cute. Is Ooh. he Brazilian? Eu sou brasileiro e sou solteiro. I am single. Wow. Just go on, go on Gringo Nation. Leave me a comment, and I'll take you out. Dude, if you get, if you get, if, <laughs> wow! <laughs> the chat is loving art. Do you want to hold it? Do you want to go for it? You go ahead. There we go. Uh, it's wow, a Gringo a lot of Nation pressure. live stream. <laughs> He's getting girls, he's getting, he's getting comments. If I if I knew wow. this was the way to get girls in Sao Paulo, <laughs> I'd be live streaming every day. We have to be invited to the wedding or something. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, We're the Dave. Matchmaker. We got a uh, super chat from Dave. Oh, Thanks so much. Shout out to Dave, Dave, Dave underscore meat. Uh, are you guys going to South Brazil anytime soon? They have a huge German influence there. FYI, FYI, Art is a great host. Oh, no so one. cool. Dude. Thanks, guys. Uh, you should go to the south. That's where I was recently. Yeah, yeah. So, Florianopolis. Okay, maybe we'll yeah. go there after Sao Paulo. We'll go to the German so, population and we'll wear the Werder Bremen jersey yeah. and we'll fit right in. So we're planning... And have some Ooh. And have some Eisenbahn. German beer and a German <laughs> shirt. So we were planning to go to Rio for uh, New Year's, but it's so expensive there. Like, we couldn't find a hotel less than $500. It's crazy, five hundred and nine. Not so it's crazy time. expensive. So we might go to the south after New Year's, uh, to Florianapolis after New Year's. So we'll be staying here for New Year's. But in two days, I think on Tuesday we will go to Sa uh, Campos. Campos do Jordão. Campos do Jordão. So it should be nice. Yeah, just for like two three days yeah. and then we'll come back yeah is that a word in Portuguese? Uh, yeah. what's this i think it's something you know, like put your nose kind of, yeah. rapi yeah. oh wow because, uh, in english it's, 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 it's not a good word in english but in 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 portuguese it's all right happy ah okay Oh, what he was selling was quite nice. Yes. And then it says that word. I was like, something is out there. Yeah, it's something is out there. Mao was saying, um, Koz, Koshinha? Koshinha. Koshinha means little thigh. Little thigh, that's right. Oh, okay. As I told you, Inya. Inya means little. Yeah. Pedro? So, Kimitsinya, little shirt. Yeah. Little triangle, salgado. I'm ready for that. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I'm ready for that. Uh, Pedro is saying love Campos de Jordão. Is that how do you say it? Jordão. Jordão. Down. 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 Say, Down. say, say. Jordão. <laughs> nice. Campos de Jordão. Campos de Jordão. Uh, you should also check out Ubatuba. Ubatuba. Yeah. I had a had a house. Oh. <laughs> That's too bad. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, a lot of beautiful beaches. Right. Yes. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Let's walk some more. So, are we ever gonna get food or what? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, Unicorn NS. He's saying he was surprised to see LGBT uh, uh, flag there. Oh, so let me just say, Sao Paulo has the biggest LGBT flag in the world. Wow, really? If I'm not mistaken, it's in January. Ah, wow, okay. Good to know. It's here. And I'm going to need the Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> Paul, you're saying, you tell them, Ivana, we want food. And Ian is saying, Rio get less expensive after January 3. Um, okay, we'll see you there. Ivana's <laughs> got some amazing screen grabs of. Um, the prices of a hostel or, or an Airbnb, mm -hmm. it'll be like $35 a night, 
And then for New Year's, it'll be 750. Even even bunk beds, like yeah. bunk beds, like, not not even like without luxury. Without exaggerating, 20 times the price. Not even luxury hotels. So it's for bunk us, beds. it's not gonna happen unless <laughs> yeah. someone wants to do a super chat of a thousand dollars right now, which I'm un <laughs> unlikely to happen. We just can't afford no, it. No, so, no, don't do that, please. Yeah, actually, don't do it. Save your money. Save your money, <laughs> yeah. save your money and live better. But. <laughs> We'll go to Rio after New Year's is over and pay $35 a night or something, yeah. rather than 750 okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. manageable yeah. prices. Okay, Vonnie, you live stream for a minute? We're gonna go get some coxinha. Oh, uh, from where? Let's go, I'm, I'm coming. Okay. okay. Um, Hang Tua is asking, is it easy to get around with only English, Mandarin, and Malay? Um, most people actually, they just speak their local language. Um, maybe use body language. So not many people speak English. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Very nice. <laughs> I think the Brazilian likes to karaoke here. <laughs> right? Right? Uh, Brazilians like karaoke. Oh, like last it. night in our building, we heard uh, a group of friends karaoke. Until like five in the morning. Yeah. It was kind of perfect. It wasn't. It wasn't loud enough to be annoying for us, but it was just quiet enough where we could just hear them singing and laughing in the microphone. Right. 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 Lull it lullabies to sleep. It was really nice. <laughs> Thank you, Korea, for bringing uh, the karaoke culture uh, to Brazil. Yeah. Korea and Japan, maybe too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Actually, uh, when we went to Japan Town, there we saw lots of karaoke bars True. in Japan Town. True. So pretty sure you oh. get a koshinya. Right here, koshinya. Let's try koshinya right here. This place is pretty packed. Uh, Charme, Carme da Paulista. I think that's how you say it. Okay, I'll wait right here, okay? Or should I come? I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay. So Steve and Art is getting our food and I will wait here. Um, so Carnaval. Carnaval is in February. I believe it's in at the end of February. And it is happening all over Brazil. But the most famous one is in Rio. Um, but I've heard a couple of people telling me that Carnival is gonna be cancelled this year. I don't know if it's true. Is it? It's because of the new uh, wave of COVID, so they might cancel Carnival. Uh, but I'm sure people will still party on the street. There won't be like a stage presentation, but I'm sure people will still party on the street because it's just kind of like... Uh, like a tradition, so they want to keep tradition alive. Mm, let's see. Oh, Enrique is saying Salvador is better for Carnival actually. So we might go to Salvador instead of Rio for Carnival because Rio is expensive, I'm sure. Uh, let's see. Let me just read a couple of your comments. Give me a minute. Oh, Keep the camera on your hands tight because some people might try to grab it. Yep, we got it. Okay, let's see. Let me just read some of your... Go back up. Uh, you should go see the... Bruno is saying you should go see Cambara do Sul Canyon and then go to Gramado and Canela. All right, that sounds good. We will look it up. I'm not sure where those places are, but we will look it up. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, Mao is saying M-A-O-U, Mao. Bahia Carnaval is the true carnival. Rio is just for show. All right, so I'm guessing we have to go to Salvador then for the carnival. Do you know if the carnival will be canceled in uh, Salvador? I'm not sure. Okay, Ian is saying a lot of the states are shutting down the carnival. The governor of Bahia already said Bahia would approve any carnival party and police wouldn't support anything. Okay. 
Huh. Let's see then. Should we still go somewhere for Carnival? I don't know. I'm not sure what to do for Carnival time. You guys can let us know. Oh, we got something here? Oh, nice. What's the filling? Chicken. Chicken, like, okay. Like brown chicken, like frango. 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 Okay. It's like, uh, what do you call it? Like shredded. Ah, like shredded chicken. chicken. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes there's also like green leaves inside. Ah. Okay, Cajun. Okay. Nice. Okay, we'll try it. I'm sure it's good. I cannot wait. I'm here as a bodyguard. Well, Steve pays the. Uh... <laughs> All right, Steve is right there. I don't know if you can see. All right, let's see. It's getting busier. Yeah, I think Brazilians sometimes uh, party on Saturday so they wake up a little later. Yeah, you're right. Brazilian likes to party, of course. Gilvano Silva Brito says, I love you. Love you too. So we just got Tres Cochinha. Okay, let's go somewhere and try it. They're pretty small, but they look pretty nice. It's ah. Oh, this is a quiet little park. <laughs> Just parking. Let's go in the middle somewhere. Yeah. Maybe just like in the corner right here, because. And this is a museum, right? Yeah, it's a very famous museum called Maspi. It's got a Mas it's got no vertical pillars. It's like a bridge. Is it a bridge or a building? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, There's yeah. no vertical pillars underneath the whole bottom. Unique architecture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Architectural wonder. Architectural wonder. Cool. Okay, let's try here. All right. This is a good spot. So, sure. There's no cars coming. Alright, so let's people do the first try here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually so preparado. Ready? Yeah. Preparado. Here we go. So. Actually, so ready. Uh, this time, the first. Yeah. This part. Yeah. If you eat it. Oh, look at that. Upside down, people will criticize you like. Okay. What? Very important to bite here. Yeah. Okay. It's like eating a piece of pizza. You don't start with the crust. It's a very good comparison. Oh, let me see the inside. Oh. <laughs> Careful there. Okay. Well, now we know. <laughs> touched the back of my mouth. Oh, oh my goodness. Not all the, not all the nothing. Um, Let me see the inside. It's very good. I'm going to try to tell you what it is first. The flavor is very good. <laughs> Let me see. Um, oh. I think it's potato. It's and cheese. Potato. And cheese. Ah. The texture is Art amazing. says there's chicken shredded. There's chicken kind of at the bottom of it. Yeah. Potato and cheese. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if there's cheese, but you have like uh, a dough. Yeah. It's really nice. The texture is really nice. The and the uh, flavor is very good. Mmm, okay. Does it remind you of anything? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mmm. Mm. Reminds me of. Mexico? Mexico? What? Francisco tamale. Reminds me of tamales. That, that tastes like tamales? Yes. Instead of the corn and tamales, it's potato. And then ah. shredded chicken inside. Very okay, good. interesting. I got like <laughs> 10 of them. So I could eat three of these. <laughs> yeah, it might be like a potato though. That's why. Ah, oh, okay. It's really good. It's really good, Ivana. Really good, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Uh, Someone is saying you should you should go to a smaller place uh, for the carnival because Rio is just for show. Yeah. Uh, actually, Bahia people are recommending to go to Bahia for the carnival. Bahia is very popular for carnival. But it's true that you can have a really good carnival in like small towns in Minas Gerais, which is another state. Okay. All right. This is for me. Oh, look at that! It's shaped like a pear. <laughs> watch out! Watch out! Watch out! But it's much better yeah, than a pear. See that? 
Okay. It's really good, Ivana. Mm. It tastes like a cheesy potato. Mm. And in the bottom part is chicken, shredded. It's, it's really like nice. It's like a croquet. Oh. Potato, I think. Croquet or something like this. Is it potato? I mean like a potato dough that they use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is all potato, no? This outside part? It tastes like potato, but it's more... It's not It's not like it's mashed like, potato. It's, it's more... Like it's like cheesy. Bouncy potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like bouncy mashed potato. Bouncy mashed potato. And very tasty. And very flavorful. Yeah. Man. Wow. It actually made me more hungry. It was I didn't so good. think it would taste like that. It's surprising. It's good, right? Is it? I like the bounciness of the potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Wow, it's good. Uh, I kind of want three more now, but Let we'll keep see. looking. Is it potato? <laughs> Someone is commenting. I think it's potato. Let's check it out what people are saying. We've got tamales in Brazil, okay, called pamonha. Mm. Pamonha. This is kind of what it reminded me of like a tamale. Now, tamale would not be potato, it would be corn. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a pomonia, to be honest. Never had a pomonia? I don't think I've ever had a pomonia. Oh, yeah, we'll go have that a pomonia. That just shows how, like, gringo I am. <laughs> it's not real Brazilian. Yeah, man. Sometimes I <laughs> Slash uh, American. <laughs> I'm trying to find a... Uh... Mmm. But it seems like you don't use potato to make... No? Oh. What is it? Make it out. So it's a uh, water, like a uh, stock. Margarine, um, oh. flour, uh, some sort of milk. Uh, okay, so it's not potato. Yeah. So it's not that's, potato? That's why it tastes different. It's not like mashed potato, but it's more bouncy. That's what it's I It's actually just dough. Yeah, it's yeah, more just bouncy. Dough. Yeah. But, but some so pushiness might have like potato It's dough. quite good. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of different types. Yeah. It's mine. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. I misidentified the potato, but I really enjoyed it. If I was smart, I'd open that with my teeth, but I can't do it. I'm afraid. I think they're all twisted. Yeah, yeah. Five stars. Five stars. We cannot do the ding. Sorry, guys. Where's we that cannot... bonus star? Where's that bonus star? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a live stream and we can't do uh, five or six stars. So, Yvonne, everyone is saying the audio on this side over here is really bad. So, we've got to try and film people ah. just to the right the front. Okay. There you have it, guys. Okay, let's keep walking because... Uh, We've only done, oh my gosh, we've done 83 minutes of live stream. Nice. I thought it was half an hour. Well, I'll tell you what, let's do a little bit more because uh, the party is just beginning. So Ivana was saying this is lychee, which I think is right. A couple of beers for the uh, lychee sellers there. Wow, thanks a lot, guys. Successful live stream. We were over 100 for a while there, concurrent viewers. Which is pretty special for us. Oh, this looks like a place to go. Yeah, let's get over there and see if we can uh, browse and arouse, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Dad jokes. Dad jokes. The best. So thanks for joining everybody. Like I said earlier, if you are new to our channel, we have just begun our 90 days and potentially more in Brazil. So please subscribe and please, please let us know what to do, how to do it, where to go, where to look, what time to do it, who to go with, any sort of Brazilian tips because our channel is sort of user driven um, in terms of the help we receive and really, really good advice. For instance, we have been approached by someone and we looks like we'll be going to someone's house for Christmas, which is a really special thing that might uh, might happen in a week or so. We might be in a local Brazilian's house for Christmas. And so my point is, please let us know any advice you have, where to go, when to go, how to go there, etc. So we are literally, we are literally underneath the museum. This is a building above our head. Must be. M-A-S-P, the major architectural Sao Paulo. Well, you got Sao Paulo, right? You got Sao Paulo, right. Museum it's a Museum de Art. Arts. Yeah, I should have known that. Museum of Arts in Sao Paulo. Uh, and now we are wandering through this little market. Lots of local goodies. We got a Kobe Bryant jersey. And here we go. What would you buy, Ivana? Maybe we'll buy some jewelries over here.
Vanna says she wants to buy more food. Yeah, me too, actually. That cochino was really nice, but it was, uh, could have been, could have been three of them we bought. That would have been my, my, uh, only improvement. I want it and I want more. So this is mostly, uh, knickknacks. This is like silverware, uh, antiques and stuff. Yeah, antique fair. So, pretty nice. And what's nice is under here, it's, uh, kind of cool no sun very comfortable get some jewelry very nice although i will say the real life of the party is out there in the street jc JC. That's your boy JC right there. <laughs> Art says, look, they got some, uh, some sculptures at JC. So someone in the chat says, uh, every state in Brazil is like it's got its own culture and its own, which is very interesting. It actually is, is true in a lot of countries. Like Malaysia was the same. Every, every state has their own food they're proud of, has their own local, local thing they're proud of. We've got a predator... Um, yeah, we saw this guy last week. This is a serious commitment to the costume. It's probably warm, nice and hot in there. And he uh, does it every Sunday and he makes some money. Last makes week some... we saw It the Clown as well, right? Last week we saw It the Clown and uh, as well as Predator. The chat is telling me, don't forget to buy Ivana a really nice present. The problem with buying Ivana a present is we are together 24-7. I'll distract her for her. Yeah, you got to take Ivana to the spa and get your nails done or something. Then I can sneak out because she knows where I am and what I'm doing. I got no secrets, you know? I got no sneaky, uh, you know? All right, we'll work on it. Art and I will work on Ivana's, Chris, Ivana's Christmas present. You gotta keep Ivana happy, but she seems happy with the coxinha right now. I'm going to get Ivana a coxinha for Christmas. <laughs> you, yeah, you already got her a Christmas present. I can make coxinha for you, Ivana says. Oh gosh, cooking for Christmas, that's a vlog. Vlog fail. No, Ivana says, I can make it. She goes, you can make it for me instead of buying it for me. And I say to her, can I? <laughs> Even impossible says, I'm possible, right? So. Even, wow. <laughs> Even impossible is spelled, I'm possible. Right. Shout out to art. He's a real wordsmith. <laughs> Pure poetry again. Is that Bill Shakespeare over there? <laughs> Bye-bye to some Malaysian viewers. I understand it's very late over there. Yes, I heard this before, Mao. It's a very interesting fact. There are more Lebanese people in Brazil than there are Lebanese people in Lebanon. That's what uh, Mao was saying, and I have, I have heard that before, which is very interesting. Syrians, yeah. They make some fucking amazing food. Yeah, true fact. Actually, I think Lebanese food might be one of the best. I've never been to Lebanon to taste the real deal, but I've been to more than five countries where Lebanese food is so nice. Baba ganoush and pita and hummus and uh, really nice food. It's probably like a little Lebanon in Sao Paulo somewhere. I would have to, it must be. That'd be a good video, Ivana. Maybe we can do that coming soon. Maybe you guys can stay tuned for a uh, Lebanese food tour, Lebanese neighborhood tour. Little Lebanon. Little Lebanon, which has a bit of a ring to it. Shout out to Little Italy for the greatest name of all the communities, <laughs> right? Yeah. Little so, Italy it has such a ring to it. It's three neighborhoods in Sao Paulo. It's Braz, Ishiga, and Baja Funda. Little Italy. Little Italy is like, so it's, Little Italy is not so little in Sao Paulo. Yeah, good point. Yeah. It's not so little. Fair enough. Someone asked, will we go to the Amazon? Uh, I, my opinion is, how dare we come to Brazil and not go to the Amazon? I think it's an absolute must. So how long will we go? When will we go? What will we do there? We don't know, but I feel like Ivana and I can both agree the Amazon is a, is a must go. Yeah, I, I mean, to, to go to Brazil and not go to the Amazon. Would... Carnaval is coming, I think. Carnaval is coming. Oh yeah, these guys are awesome. Fantastic. We should have a nice little show here, guys. I think we got some, some bass drums and some snare drums and some Nice looking outfits. Maybe we'll go in the in the center if you want, or somewhere out of their way, and we can see a little mini carnival. 
I love these street parties, man. There is there is so much to do, so much action. Uh, YouTube Gunners says, Steve, when is the Canadian series coming? Good question. So first things first, the problem with the Canadian series is Canada is so big, you need a huge budget and you need a huge amount of time to do it all. Although we will be back in Canada maybe in April or May. And so we can maybe do an Ontario series or a Toronto series. But Canada is so big to do a whole Canadian series, you need you need months. Um, oh, good point. We did go on a road trip in Canada before and vlog the whole thing. But that was back in the early days of our channel where uh, every vlog is really just hiking. It was a hiking vlog. We went so to Banff. Feel free to go watch our old vlogs, but they are not very exciting. It might, if you like hiking and nature, it might be exciting for you. If you like hiking, you might like it. But uh, anyway, enjoy your Canadian trip. I hope you have a good time oh. in Canada. We've got a real party up ahead of us here. I'm not sure you'll be able to hear me speaking, but at the very least, you can watch these people. They're in a circle, they got some beautiful shirts on, and they are jamming. Oh, uh, Julio, or maybe Julio, we went to Libertadji yesterday on the Saturday market. So we will be releasing a vlog on Tuesday, like in two days from now, and it's really nice. It's, uh, we had a really nice time in Libertadji. Maybe wasn't as epic a street party as this, although was still pretty epic. Just Me says, Canadian challenge, how far north can you go? Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, we got people dancing over here. Wow, guys, this is something special.
What's incredible is uh, just a regular Sunday. To me, this is like a once a year celebration, something special. But in Sao Paulo, this kind of thing is happening every Sunday. This is from Bahia. It is from Bahia. Right. But Which is uh, very African influence. African influence. I mean, what's great is we are so far away from them and the volume is just perfect. Oh, I missed the super chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, really? Oh, so sorry. We Fung. Uh, thank you very much. Says bye bye. Sorry to miss that We Fung. It was because of the music there. Uh, I didn't pay attention to the chat. Ivana, we got a super chat from Wee Fung. Oh, thanks so much, with a With a sticker that said bye-bye. Oh, so it was night. like seven minutes ago. I think I missed it because of the music. Ah, good which night, is, Wee Fung. Uh, my fault, but thank you, Wee Fung, for the super chat. Thank you for watching. Thanks for all your support. Continued for months and months. Really appreciate it. And uh, sorry we missed it, but when I see the drums, I got a little distracted. I didn't watch the chat for a minute. <laughs> Um, Captain Jack Sparrow. We got we got Jack Captain Sparrow. Jack Sparrow over here <laughs> with some Bahia music. This guy's going all out. Bahia, 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 Bahia. not Bahia, Bahia. Bahia. Uh, that was really something special, man. It makes my heart rate increase. I feel like I got some. Uh, oh, look at this! We got Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer right there. Made out of, made out of logs and and bottle caps. Rudolph, bottle cap, the Red Nosed Reindeer. We get the music still echoing over here. We got Captain Jack Sparrow in live and living color. Ah, uh, just great, man. People dancing in the street. There you have it. All right, guys, we have reached, I think, our live stream capacity. 98 minutes, Ivana. This is an uh, hour and 40 we're gonna do on the live stream. So thank you very much for watching. I think it's a good spot to end. We got some. Uh, what, I found, uh, what I found really interesting is that all the street food, they accept credit cards. All the street food vendors, most of them accept credit cards. The street food accept credit cards. Interesting. Yeah, it's a good point. Even the guy selling beer, like right, this guy here selling beer in a cart, he has a machine to take credit cards. Yeah. Pretty handy. There you have it, guys. So, as these drummers, these, these let me say it right, Bahia. 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 H is silent. Which, what it means also is Ivana won the Portuguese challenge. Hey. Final Bahia score. Means bay, by the way. Final score, two to one. Bahia? It's bay. 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 Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Bay. Yeah, 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 bay. Yeah. Bahia. B-A-Y. Bahia. Bay. Got it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching our live stream. The music will serenade us as we finish. Ooh, the sun just came out. Man, I love Sao Paulo Sundays. Sao Paulo Sundays, uh, best best Sundays. It's our beach. It's our beach. It's our beach. <laughs> the street party is our beach. I am trying to delay 20 more seconds to go evenly 100 minutes. I feel like I can try to do 100 minutes. So thank you very much for watching. Hold up for a second, babe. Uh, let me go through some comments quickly. Uh, I enjoyed the live stream. Thank you, Shirley. Bye bye, unicorn. Can't wait for a new video. Bye to the UK. Big shout out to my mom, greatest mom ever. And on that note, we will end the live stream. Thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.